Seven ways on how to not screw up your singing career like I did. High vibrations day and night. Good day, everyone. I'd like to start off by saying thank you to my new subscribers. And to those new to my channel, I'd like to encourage you to keep watching so that you don't miss out on some important information on how to not screw up your singing career like I did. Okay, so my first piece of advice. Don't do what I did. Don't stop. I got caught up with my old nine to five job and my life became a seemingly endless cycle of work, home, sleep, binge watch TV shows, work, home, sleep, binge watch TV shows, among other things. And occasionally working on music, but that wasn't really productive. We drifted away. Why did I do this? Ego. Whoa, I'm lit. I used to think, oh, I've done this a million times. I can just chill right now and do this again later. <laughs> this may be fine if you already have a name for yourself, but if you're like me, Wow. Here's the thing. I've already accomplished so much in Asia as a singer. And I thought that would be enough. Turns out, I haven't even begun. And I'm already this egotistical. I'm lazy. Lazy is never a good thing. I've been wasting time because of my ego and laziness when I could have been, you know, creating to make my YouTube channel grow. I could have been working on my voice. I could have been doing so much more with my energy. I could have been fixing my energy. But I guess we've all been there, right? So to conclude, advice number one. Don't let your ego get in the way. It's okay to think you're good, but don't ever think you're too good because nobody is too good. Don't get too comfortable. Advice number two. You only suck as much as you think you suck. Any performer, no matter how good that's put in the spotlight, will get likes and dislikes. This is inevitable. This will always happen. So get used to it. If you can't handle it, this ain't for you. Advice number three. Honestly, this should be number two, but this also applies to you when you're learning. Learn your craft well. I cannot stress that enough. Otherwise, you really will suck. <laughs> do whatever it takes to learn and apply what you learn and do it well. Don't be afraid to start recording yourself over and over again like a crazy person. Sometimes the best way to learn is to start watching yourself. And trust me, you will get angry. No, I said be gone, devil! But don't ever let that anger last long or you'll never get it. It's best to practice and learn with love. You can never stop learning. One of my mentors in the Philippines in a musical theater company called Repertory Philippines once said, the moment you feel you've got nothing left to learn, you're <laughs> Advice number five. You have absolutely nothing. Advice number five. You have absolutely nothing to fear. <laughs> If you're too scared to do anything with your talent, you're not gonna go anywhere with it. So, butterflies are normal. Just breathe, learn to meditate, and everything will work out for you. The worst that can happen in a performance only happens when you're scared. Unless you haven't done advice number three. Learn to look at criticism as a learning moment. There are people out there that can hear what you haven't heard from yourself yet. So don't let your ego get in the way. Don't be a copycat. Find your sound, even when doing covers. We all have a unique voice, so let's start using it. It might be hard for a while, but you'll find it. You'll get it. Speaking of finding it, find this soap on Amazon. Golganica Turmeric Soap. So! I normally post videos of myself singing on this channel and YouTube has not been pushing it to the right people yet. And this is my fault. So I encourage everyone that's made it this far to please check my videos out. Tell me what you think. I need your criticism so I too can grow. Bless, 
Stay high in vibrations.